Hey, what's going on guys? Come back in the video here. Uh, this one I got a video on uh, game collecting tips. It's kind of four tips I put together just from my experience. It might help you guys out there who are new to collecting or thinking about getting into it. <clears throat> Part of my new series, I'm trying to do some stuff to be a little more informative than just doing uh, video game reviews and pickups and shit like that. So I'm hoping uh, somebody gets something out of this to help that can help them. In the long run, this is pretty much why I'm doing it. So, uh, game collecting tips. If you're thinking about get, starting collecting for a certain series, or you are collecting for a certain series, here's some tips to help you out. So the first one I got is just my opinion. Um, stick to one series and one series you actually like. Unless you have limited income, then you don't need to worry about this. But if you're out there just you know working every day, 40 hours a week or whatever, um, you want to get into collecting, I suggest pick one series and stick with it. Otherwise, you're, uh, you're going to be spending a lot of money on trying to collect for all these different series and collector's editions and shit come out like that. So in my case, I only collect strictly for uh, Resident Evil series. So I, I limited to that. I was at one time collecting for like Metal Gear Solid and uh, Resident Evil and Silent Hill and Tales and all this other shit. I just said, you know what, I can't afford it. Fuck it. I'm just sticking Resident Evil because it's what I know and it's what I'm going to do. So that's my first tip. Pick one series and stick with it. Uh, the second tip I got is the most important. Uh, to make it a series you actually enjoy playing. So what I said previously, I was collecting all these different series and, and games and genres, RPG shooters, whatever. Survival horror. And I was buying games, paying pretty good decent amounts for them and the prices dropped on me so I'm left with a game that you know I really didn't want to play it I wasn't interested in playing it so I was like man what the, why did I spend you know 50 60 bucks on this game when I only plan on playing it now it's worth 40 so I had to sell all this stuff and barely break even on it so I came to the conclusion you know I'm only going to buy games that I actually enjoy playing so that's step two make it a series you actually enjoy playing you know, if you do invest a lot of money in a game and say the Resident Evil series and the price happens to drop on you, you know, at least you can play it and enjoy it until the price rises again. If if it does. If not, then hey, you got something you can play again, you know. So So that's step two, make it a series you actually enjoy playing. Number three, for example, Resident Evil series is on many different platforms. So if the series you're collecting for with on many different platforms, do your research, you know what each one, each one is worth on each platform. I got kind of example here. And I'm going to use Resident Evil Code Veronica as an example. So I got the GameCube version here. I got the PS2 version here. PS2 PAL version. GameCube Japanese version. And I got Dreamcast American version and I got the Dreamcast on this is the Japanese version so my whole point is showing you these is not all these games I just showed you are worth anything there's actually two that are worth, worth a lot and I actually got a good deal on person know what they're selling but so a lot of people think Code Veronica is a really rare game which it is on certain systems but this is probably the most common, and I see people trying to sell this game for like 25, 30 bucks. I'm just like, dude, it's not worth that much. It's like five, ten bucks maybe. It's very common. The PAL version I got pretty cheap off eBay. Um, even the Japanese Dreamcast version is very common in Japan, and you get on eBay pretty cheap. This is, um, it's not very common. I don't see it out very much, but you can pick it up pretty cheap. But since I know the series very well, I know that these two are worth a hell of a lot. The Japanese version of Code Veronica is worth a lot. Believe it. It's about probably 60 bucks, even more. This is complete. I actually bought it in Japan when I was there. I got a good deal on it, so I think I paid maybe 10 bucks for it. So that's my point. Do your research and know what you're, you know, know what each game on each platform goes for. If I see these two anywhere, I'm picking them up because. If I see them in a pawn shop or a thrift store or somewhere, you know, I'm picking them up. I don't give a shit what they are. I'm going to pick them up no matter what. So 
that's tip three. Um, if your series you're collecting for is on different platforms, you know, know, you know, know what you're looking for. You know. And number four, become an expert on a series. What I mean by that is do your research. Go on eBay. Look at all the games for each console. Get a good idea what the prices are going for. Buy it nows or auctions. Uh, as far as the bundles goes, the special edition bundles, I kind of stay away from those. Um, those are... are those can vary in price based on what people want or think they can get from them. They don't really base it on them. You know, the average rate going, like like a game, like a single game, like this I can look on eBay and look, well, the trending is like 70, 80 bucks, so I'll figure out a price, but if it's just like a special edition bundle with this game, then people just kind of make up their own numbers depending on what they think they should get for it. So, you know, go on eBay, do research, know what each game's worth. Um, know the rarity of it because you go on eBay, you search for this game, you know, you do a search on it, it'll show you the bottom how many are listed on eBay right now. Like, it could be 20 or it could be 200, you don't know. So, you know, do your research that way. Know what, know what the availability of each game out there in the series is, you know, roughly about, you know, if one's more rare than the other and so on and so forth. So, that's what I mean by, you know, become an expert on series. Do your research. It's going to help you in the long run. On Craigslist, I mean, I've got a lot of good deals on Craigslist. People just don't know what they had, you know, so that's what I mean. And just when I say become an expert, this step all, the three previous steps all tie into this one because you stick to one series, you, you, you look on eBay so much or Craigslist, you start knowing what the prices are, you start becoming familiar with what to pay for and what the people are asking. Uh, you know, when you start buying and selling, and you'd be surprised how fast um, you become an expert in a series. I'm um, like Resident Evil. I mean, I know like pretty much everything about everything about the series. Um, you want to know because I've just done so much research, buying and selling um, Japanese games. Um, I've got to know some good Japanese sellers in Japan who are familiar with the series too, so they go to good deals and they pass it on to me. So that's my whole point. Once you become an expert on one series, you start meeting people who are in the same boat as you, and so you'll start making contacts. And the next thing you know, man, you're just like you, you know, you you just become expert. You know, you know everything about that series, and uh, it pays off in the long run. Trust me. So that's my four tips, guys. Um, let me know uh, what you think. If you got any questions, uh, like I said, this is just the first video I'm doing on collecting tips. I'm gonna do one on um. You know, buying and selling games and how to make, um, I guess, um, for lack of a better word, try to make your hobby work for you. You know, I've learned a lot the last couple months on buying and reselling and uh, where to sell, how to make money. You know, not just on eBay, there's other places you can make money, so, which I'm going to go over that in one of my videos. So I hope you guys can, uh, you know, get something out of it. And, uh, GameStop, I'm not talking about taking shit to GameStop and selling it. You know, they're the last place I would take anything to and sell. So, you know, don't get me wrong. It won't be a video on how to go to GameStop and trade shit in. So, but that's it, guys. Uh, take care. And uh, any questions, you know, if you're thinking about getting and collecting, post them. I'll try to answer them. Or, you know, you're collecting for a certain series and you want to know where, maybe where you should be looking, you know, let me know. And I'll try to help, you know, if not, somebody else can answer your question, so...